Bold geometric shapes. This is by far the biggest and most popular trend I see in design. I spend hours and hours researching projects on Behance.com and geometric shapes came up in all categories, in animation, print design, editorial design, branding package, and logos. They could be bright and vivid or used as subtle background heroes. Geometric shapes can have solid or thin strokes or lines. These geometric shapes can be overlapped with blending modes to create shapes within shapes, and it can also be used in simple patterns to create a wide array of flexible brand assets. What is great about using geometric shapes in design is it provides another visual outside of typography that can help typography stand out or help the overall design piece feel, feel filled out without the use of photography. And we can't forget about the geometric shapes influence on logo design and the sense of order a grid-based geometric logo can bring. It is relatively easy to get started creating geometric shapes in Adobe Illustrator by using some grids and the snap to grid options. I'm going to head over to Adobe Illustrator and demonstrate this right now. So here we are in Adobe Illustrator. I'm going to demonstrate how to create kind of some very basic geometric shapes to get you started thinking about this more abstract design trend. So one of the first things you're going to want to do is open up a new document. And you're going to want to make sure grids are shown. So the first thing you're going to want to do is go up to view and make sure your guides are clicked on. Guides are going to be a big help in creating all geometric shapes. So click on show grid. Another very, very helpful tool is the snap to point. So everything you create will snap to the grid and that's going to be incredibly helpful in speeding up our workflow. So snap to point. And now I can create some basic shapes and we're going to create some only using circles for this task. So we're going to get our ellipse tool and we can hold down shift and create a perfectly dimensional circle and it's with snap to grid it is so much easier to do. So now we can just hold down option and drag and we can create a series of circles. We can even duplicate this and we can get our rectangle tool to divide this perfectly in half using the shape builder tool. So selecting all my objects and I go over this in a lot of my um, other design courses, how to kind of use these basic tools in Adobe Illustrator, but it's showing you how quick it is. We can even reverse this. Hold down shift when we rotate and it'll do it by 45 degree angles, which is such a helpful hint. Hold down option and drag, just creating some basic little shapes here. You can even bring these down and make them different colors. Hold down shift, doop, doop. Reflect and do a different color. So it's just being creative and finding these different shapes that can interact together. So let's create this kind of donut hole. So I'm going to grab the ellipse tool to make a pretty big circle. Let's go up to object, path, and what we're going to do is we're going to offset the path. We could preview that, click on OK. And what it did is it created two circles for us. It offset the path. I teach all this in a lot of my design courses. I'm going to select both. Shape, that Shape Builder tool is a huge tool, beneficial tool in helping us create all these shapes. So there's a simple donut. We can create complex shapes within the donut by once again putting shapes, overlapping them, taking that Shape Builder tool and punching them out holding down that option key. And so you can create a wide variety of shapes. Let's say we want to add a little pattern on here. What we could do is do our little trick we did in a previous lesson. Click up here, hold down shift, create a line. I'm going to do option and drag. I'm just creating a copy and then I'm duplicating that copy by doing command D, creating our line system. Now we can group this together, hold down shift, rotate it perfectly by 45 degrees, and I can overlap it. Select both of my objects. I'm going to go over to Pathfinder, and I'm first going to need to outline my path. So I'm just going to go to Object, Path, Outline Strokes, and now I'm going to be able to punch this out using the Pathfinder. Let's try minus front. 
and that worked well to cut everything out to create kind of an interesting shape. And you can combine all these different shapes using that shape builder tool and the snap to grid tool to create these very precise geometric patterns and string them together just like this. And your task now is to go into Adobe Illustrator and create your first geometric abstract poster using a combination of just circular shapes.